Most people in America are interested in God, not true. Many of our Christian houses are losing constituents and losing parishioners. That is absolutely true. The reason that they're losing them is that pastors are not producing good work is not true, but the reason that they're losing people is they're just not marketing correctly, and that may be true. There are certainly mega churches like the one that I used to attend that was sort of a little bit off from my place that I just rented recently that was called uh, Grace Community Church, and they have a constituency of 12,000 people, but obviously on any given Sunday or Saturday when they do the services, and at the time before COVID, I think there was about four or six services. You know, we're talking probably two to 3,000 people possibly in the audience, but I never counted the chair count, and I don't know what fire code is for their different sanctuaries. But openly, they did some renovations to the building because people used to joke that it looked like a hotel, and I didn't really agree with that. I think what God cares about is how people assemble and where their fellowship are. But the thing that a lot of times Christian uh, worship houses talk about is the Trinity. The Trinity is highly important to a man like me who's pagan. And being pagan means that I kind of have more of a historic work with God as opposed to more contemporary labeled work with God. And my work with God in my daily life is my faith, just like yours is to you. But my work with God is also seeing what kind of person you are and how your faith walks with you. When I encourage people to learn about their angels, I encourage them to use educational and encyclopedia information that comes from Catholics, that comes from the Vatican, and that can, comes from people who really talk about them. At the same time, I encourage them to read old Dr. Doreen Virtue stuff before she became born again and sort of lost her, her abilities, or maybe someone hurt her, and now she's really not there anymore, which concerns me because we never get a chance to talk to her or compliment her or interact with her, and I think that's a, a falsity of any author. She also has some beautiful religious angels-oriented cards from her past work and her past authorship, and I really wish people would play into them because you can learn so much about yourself and feel good about the Lord and work in and out of the Holy Ghost. But when it comes to the practice of the pendulum, my Angels Around Us program is mine. It's something that I created a long time ago and have produced in my community many times. What I do is teach people how to use the right tool for them because there's many types of materials, there's many types of, of images, there's many types of things that can help you to tap into your angels so that you know that not only are you working with the Holy Ghost, but you're not working with any satanic forces and you're not working with your arrogance of what you want in your life. You see, truly having submission to God means you're willing to say, as much as I want this thing over here, as much as I want that food over there, as much as I want that car type, I'm going to check with God to see what is and isn't right for me.